Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we're be, we're gonna be talking about timing belts uh, and timing belts that actually broke. So, if you have a timing belt that broke and you do not know if you have uh, messed up valves or messed up head or just a messed up engine, this video is gonna be just for you. So, we got a 2007 Suzuki Forenza, if I'm not mistaken, as a 2.0 liter engine. And when I did my research, I found out that it was an interference engine. But to be 100% sure that the valves are messed up, well, we're going to do an easy test. So this is where we're going to bring the cylinder leak down test into the equation. And we're going to find out if this is the issue. So essentially what happens is, if you have an interference engine, there's two types of engines. Interference and non-interference. If you have an interference engine, that basically means if your timing component breaks, your valves will basically hit the piston, bend the valves, and then when you have, remember we got a four cycle engine right here, is intake compression, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is intake compression, power, and exhaust. So in the compression uh, state, if you don't have everything sealed up in the actual cylinder, you will bust, uh, well you're not, gonna, you're not gonna get a compression. So everything has to be completely sealed. If you have a bent valve, then you're not gonna be completely sealed. So this is where you get the, the cylinder leak down test to make sure that everything is sealed up correctly and uh, so this is what initially you do I took off the valve cover got to the cams right here but normally what the cams do they push down push down on the actual on the valve so uh, what I did I took off these the cam bearings right here so this cam is not pushing down on the valves and then you get your cylinder leak down test. This is mine right here, OTC, part number 5609. And you put compressed air into it. Yeah, I got 80 pounds of compressed air. You get this connection right here. Make sure that y'all can see it. I got 80 pounds of compressed air. You get this line, stick it into the cylinder. I redid the test and I found out that <laughs> all of them were pretty much bad. But with this cylinder leak down test, you can actually see which valve messed up. Is the intake or exhaust or just a head gasket too as well. Uh, say you hook this up here and then you start getting a bunch of bubbles in your coolant system. Then there's going to be your uh, your head gasket. If you hook this up and you hear air coming out through your intake, then it's going to be your intake. Vice versa with the exhaust. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to hook this up to this side. little hard there we go all right so look at that we got at least 72 pounds of pressure and then the the outlet of it only shows five so if we look down here Let's look at this one. This has 75%, and if the right hand gauge is reading 74, we have 1% leak. 73.5, 2% leak, and so on. Ours, one side is 75, and the other side is 5%. We don't have a small percentage leak, we have a humongous leak. And just like I said, I already done this, and it's on all cylinders. And you can actually hear it on. Let me see if it the, if it picks it up. And remember, all the cams are loosened, all of them, so the valves are not being pushed down. So there you go. <laughs> this basically needs a head job, change out the valves, and all that good stuff. Uh, you might be asking, hey is the piston messed up you know because the valve is going to slap the piston uh, you gotta understand the, the valves that have a they're pretty narrow so they'll probably take most of the damage and I think I might have some uh, hey, hey I got some valves here <laughs> lucky day for y'all just did one not too long ago here I'm going to lay y'all down for a quick second All right. Remember through these valves. 
Oke. Okay. Check this out. Look how bent that valve is. I can make an A out of that. <laughs> that's, that, that's crazy. So yeah, this is the weakest point at, uh, at the valve. The piston is it's a lot stronger. So most likely you're going to have a little indentation on the piston. Uh, and the valve is going to give in. So like on my last job, you know, this one, the, the valve hit the piston. But the piston was okay. The car's been driving for almost five months now since I did that job. Alright, so if you do like this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, share. If you don't, please leave me something. Let me know why you didn't like the video and then I'll try my best to, you know, to change it up. But remember, I'm here. This is my career right here. These videos are just, you know, trying to help out others because, I, like I said from my other past videos, <laughs> the, the YouTube family really got me where I am right now. It wasn't for Scanner Dan or uh, all these other uh, mechanics out there, Scotty Kilmer, Brian's Mobile. If it wasn't for them, you know, I wouldn't be here right now because they really helped me out. You know, I went to uh, I went to school and all that, but they kind of you, you learn from uh, from experience and and you know their their tells they they showed us a lot. So um, you know, I just give a big thanks to them, and I'm trying to do the same thing. You know, hopefully I can get someone out there. And uh, and help them out too. But y'all have a y'all have a good day, and uh, take care. Bye.